it's a lot different than working like torquing two bolts on metal. Um, I do work for Everpure. Okay. So you uh, know that. And I do commercial work. Okay. And uh, I get calls like uh, to go to uh, Foxwood Casinos, Boston. Yep. So here we've got the board and you can just set it off mm -hmm. to the side like that. Now to access the flow, you got to take off all these screws uh, right here. And when you put it back on, one thing I want to point out is that there's like a little keyway. If you can see this right here, uh, where I'm pointing to, that's like a little nub. So you can see how it's etched right here for this area. Mm -hmm. When you put that back on, it's going to go on in that area, and that little nub helps you align it. All right. So okay. that nub's got to match the cap. You got it. Yeah. Okay. In that area right there. So here's our pressure switch. And you can see we've got the three screws holding it on right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the board. Okay. So you have so to remember where it came from. You got it. And then this is on the discharge side. So when I do this, I always try to do them a little bit at a time. So just for my guys' reference, we shut off the um, water supply coming into the pump, we left open the supply going to the house and uh, until the pressure went down to zero and then we bypassed it all and unplugged it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this right in here is a non-return valve in this area right here so it basically keeps these two components under the pressure that you see on the gauge. So this is on the pressure side of the pump because of a non-return valve right here and that's the reason you want to discharge it and get it out of the system. Mm -hmm. Otherwise when you loosen this, psh. We take showers once a week and I don't know if you know. Yeah. Because somebody forgot that yeah, once a month. Well, not to exaggerate. Alright. If you go to change a uh, lamp on a UV system and you didn't let the water pressure out, it takes about a five second delay and then it sends this missile of glass <laughs> At 60 psi, whatever, <laughs> across the basement. You're like, is that I'm sorry. That's right. So, here we are. So, they take away the hammer from the lady in uh, Italy? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was a woman on the line, an older Italian gal, and we all think that she uh, cursed us because she gave us a look that... Uh, she gave you the horns? Yeah, it scared you. <laughs> She's evil eye. It was, on the, it was on the instructions. Well, the instructions were wrong. But uh, she's a sweetheart. She's a nice lady. So this will pop up. There's going to be a little O-ring uh, right here that you want to make sure doesn't get lost. Okay. okay. Right there's the O-ring. See? It's in All the... Right, uh, so you popped it off. Yep. It came, just lift it straight up? Yep, just lift it straight up. Okay. Yep, there's nothing in there. You All can right. see there's the little port right here, mm -hmm. uh, O-ring right there, and here's our area for adjustment. Okay. So now we have the whole thing off. So what we can do is we can pop the back. Probably the hardest part of the whole thing because you got to have fingernails. Or a sharp knife. Yeah, a sharp knife. Not a sharp knife? Yeah, I may. No, I'm getting it. <laughs> A little bit of the time. That's what I get for clipping. I'm afraid it's I'll... a uh, Smith and Wesson. Is that registered in the state of Connecticut? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I bought it online, but uh, it's one of the ones where you can go through the glass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm not a knife person. But I want a good there. tool. So now. We can see with the adjustment. All right, that's pretty big. And all we've got, like I said, this is just a, uh, the pressure comes up through here. There's a silicone membrane that's right here. Mm -hmm. And this is just a on off switch back here. So we're just adjusting. We have a cut -in. similar pressure switch on the Everpure commercial RO. And they have a preset too. And on rare occasions. Okay, so this is going to be the size. So it's just a half a turn. Half a turn is 180, 160 degrees. Yep. So, tell me when. You 
Out oh, there. That's 90. That's 90. Yeah. This is where I get nervous past 90. I'm going to go good. right about cut, there. Cut the red wire. Cut the <laughs> so that's about where we want to go. Like right. I said, they're preset at about 25, 29, and we're going to uh, take it up to about 35, 40. Yeah, but we don't want to be over 40 because that will keep the pump from shutting off. Possibly, yes. You could get to the, have to do it all over, all over again. So when you're turning it, you're actually turning the that screw inwards? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Clockwise. Clockwise, yep. yeah. The guy who winds up doing it all the time remembers. It's like a yeah, pressure regulator. I always forget which way is. Right, right. But my guy, Louis, he knows. He used the force of principle. Like I said, this is the hardest part, getting this thing in and out, because it's just such a tight fit. Very middly, right? Mm-hmm. Just got to get it over the top there, and then it goes in. How about using some of that silicone lube? There it is. There it is. So that's back on. You know the uh, same lubricants they use for some of the O-rings, the silicone? Yeah. Put a little bit of that in there? Or rather not? Uh, for this here, yeah, you could if you wanted to get it in there. It's just a tight thumb. And then you put her back in. Dr. Ricky, doing the transplant. Yeah. There. Clever design. Yes. Yeah, it's very uh, compact and all together pretty nice. And there it is. Splat, and then you can put your screws back in. Yeah, you heard a little click there when you put it in. Yep, yeah, yep. yep. Yeah, this is uh, primarily O-ring seals. There's about, I think, 28 O-rings in this pump. It never ceases to amaze me how an O-ring can stop all that water, like your John Guest fittings. Mm -hmm. Just a simple O-ring. And now some of the softeners. You just slide the pipe into an O-ring and it's got a screw and cap, but it's not the cap pressure, it's just that O-ring around. Yeah. Like, years ago, people would have laughed and said, it ain't going to work, but it works. Shark bite fitting. I was just going to say that shark bite is the same mm -hmm. same line, yep. We were just talking about that earlier. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Distributor shit. Hey, John, there. how long till I have water? Um, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes or 10 less. 10 minutes? Okay. Oh, she had water. Yes, ma'am. Actually, do you have water right now? Because we're bypassed. Try the faucet, Karen. Let me go. All right. Let me go up and tell her. Yeah, I like your light. Exactly. Just tight enough. The yeah, ring that makes the seal. Yep. Keep telling my guys that. No. No, she doesn't. All right. Then we can put this back on. Well, yeah, I, I just realized why not. Um, because this is creating all the pressure, so even though we're bypassed. Oh, wait a minute, she should have pressure. The pressure she should have some water anyway. Yeah. Okay. This one goes back on. Oh, I see. Because the water inlet we have off. Mm -hmm. oh, should be coming right into the air, right back. Huh. Okay. Yeah, she should have water. Depth in that light. Okay. And there we go. And now we've got it adjusted and we can uh, give it a shot. Plug her back in. That have no drip. Where was the plug? Right on the side there, Dick. In the gray box. It might have fallen behind. Oh, there it is. There it is. And where are we plugging it into? Uh, right into that box there. This one here? Yep. Okay. We have light. Turn the valve back on. Yep. 